Psalm 100 verse 4 says, Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful to him and bless his name. See, this is the first um, dynamic I'm wanting to look at regarding thanksgiving. It brings us into the presence of our King. Some things about thanksgiving, there's something about thanksgiving that brings us into the presence of our King. That is one of the reasons that I love to start our Zoom prayer meetings in thanksgiving before we've even begun our shopping list before we've begun gone to ask God to do this or to do that or to touch these people or to do that whatever we come into his presence with thanksgiving thank you Lord we thank him for what he's done thank you Lord God for the shoes on my feet the food in my belly thank you Lord for the roof over my head thank you Father for my husband and children for relationships for friendships Thank you, Lord God, for those I train with. Thank you for my family, that my parents are still alive and they're close by. Thank you, Father, for the schools that my children go to. Thank you for their friends. Thank you, Lord God, for those people in our church, for our volunteers. Thank you, Lord God, for the word that, that you speak to our hearts week in and week out. Thank you, Father, for continuing to provide for us, Lord, financially, spiritually, Lord God, emotionally, um, for our souls, Lord God. Thank you for your good. There's so many things that we can thank him for. And as we begin to thank, give thanks, just brings us into his presence just brings us straight into his presence. So thanksgiving is powerful that way. The second dynamic.